everyone so in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how to how to fill um your samosa and then spring roll using the wrapper we earlier made this is what the the skin the wrapper looks like you see it is very light very light very light um but it is very fragile but strong enough to hold your your sauce perfectly so if you remember um, while we were doing it, I told you that once you finish one, you turn it upside down on, and you keep putting it on top of each other like that. And um, remember that I sprinkled little flour on the one before it. This is so that it doesn't stick to it. So looking at this skin, this is this part is smoother. This is the, the this is how it was on the pan. Can you see this rough part? That's while we were coating, this is the part we coated, and when um, it's finally cooked, I had this. This is the, the part that laid on the on the pan already, so it's smoother. So I'm going to align this this way. Let me just cut to this. So it's like this on my tray. I have turned it upside down. Then look for very um, sharp knife to trim of the excesses the edges on all four sides this will give, make a uh, spring roll and samosa come out very neat I will start with spring roll. Now I have um, a square shape now. So I will cut this into three equal parts again. Take it easy with it. It's very fragile. It can tear. Okay, you can use this to measure, but I'll, I'll just, I guess it and divide this into two. So, this is two sheets. Two sheets, I did it together. Now you see, two sheets. So, this will give me six pieces of um, samosa when we are through. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, let me start now. So, I'm just going to take one part. This is the smooth side, while this is the rough side. So the rough side will be facing me. Can you see? It will face me like this. Then hold um, this from one end, this side. Can you see? And bring it to the other end such that it forms a cone. Can you see? It's going to overlap remaining little at the edge. So you gently fold this in like this. Mm -hmm. So then I'll feel. I'll fill in my sauce. I have my sauce here. So gently use your um, your your thumb to pull it in. Make sure your hands are very clean. So this side. So you bring this um, tail. You bring it to one side like this, and ensure that it is fair. There, you bring it to the other end. You go that way. Take the tip again, bring it to one, one end, and you have this. You do that until you have a small overlap. Then I have my glue here. The glue is just the um, the remaining the leftover butter that I have. I left small, so after my glue, just I put little at the tip and seal. This is the 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 best recipe you can ever come across. Then you have your samosa air very neat so let me quickly do one more okay the, this is the rough side okay. it's facing me so i'll take one end from the left hand side from the left side bring it out to the right side this way and you see this is it we bring it out this way so that we have uh, this overlap this is how it goes at the back overlap fold it in 
this is what it gives me then take uh, a portion of your sauce and fill it in be careful don't apply too much pressure so that your wrapper does not tear like this fill it then take the tip bring it to the left side to the left end it gives you this bring the tip again to the right end and go that way while you do that you use your hand to press it firmly down so that it becomes fair mm -hmm. can you see so it's giving me it's leaving out this small one then i apply the two glue and see finally you can as well see this place make sure you seal well so that it doesn't open while frying can you see this looks good so that's how to make a samosa.